All right, so here it is. We finally got Desert Storm back in one piece. We had this thing fully stripped down to the frame, fully split the motor. That was my last video I put up, so if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you go back and check that out where we rebuilt, uh, totally rebuilt the CR500 motor, replaced every single bearing, crank, and all that. But anyway, we're finally back at it. I had some time to edit the video on the build. I'm gonna break it down into three parts. This is gonna be part one. Um, the total build only took me three days because we had to rush it, get it together for that Team Prime build off. Even though I totally got jacked around in the end, uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. All taped up, prepped up. We're gonna go ahead, throw these parts in the sand blaster. Got our triple trees and swing arm. We did get it all welded up. We also mounted this tab. And then I went to the local machine shop and had them make me this axle up. So we're all ready to go with our custom swing arm here. All right, we got our engine set into place. Gonna go ahead, start grabbing some bolts and sliding them in. All right, we just got our motor set in place. Got our swing arm lined up and everything like that. Looking pretty good.
So next we're gonna go ahead, start installing our electrical. I did uh, put a nice new shrink wrap on all of our wires. Everything's all cleaned up. Spent hours cleaning this box, it was all built up, gunked up. Anyway, we also got our new foot pegs installed. That took longer than I thought because I had to like uh, switch the springs around. It was a real pain. Our triple trees are on, bearings are all in, our VIN tag set up. So we just got done putting all of our electrical in, ran our wires, have our radiators mocked up, see how we uh, want to run everything. I did check we're getting sparks, everything seems to be working good. Got our chain rollers on here, going to get ready to cut this orange chain, fit it up, see if we can start getting something to move.
All right, so when we slid our axle all the way forward at our tightest point, it was kicking us at a half link. So we went ahead and slid it back. Um, you got to remember you're going to go ahead and replace that link basically. So you got to have, um, you know, like male end to male end. Anyway, we don't have no half links. So we're going to go ahead and mark this. Going to go ahead and grind both sides. It'll just go ahead and punch out nice and easy for us. All right, so we got our chain cut, and with only uh, six or so links to spare. Go ahead and throw some grease on them O-rings. All right, we got our master link on. And uh, even though this is the clip style, I did have to use the uh, chain riveting tool to squeeze these together. Um, this master link is still under high tolerance. I mean, you know, like tight tolerances here. It's a little bit stronger chain O-ring. So we definitely wanted to make sure we had a nice strong chain that we're gonna be extending this bike. Uh, last thing you want is some cheap chain uh, breaking and whipping you in the back of the leg or something, man. You might even, who knows. Got the chain all cut. Radiators are all mounted. Took me a while to clean all these hoses up. I did order new ones, but I guess they never came. Uh, also, I have a uh, throttle cable ordered and clutch cable. So I'm trying to hold off one more day. If the stuff don't come tomorrow, we're gonna have to just go ahead and uh, put the old stuff back on. But we're going to go ahead before the day's over. Last thing on the list, let's go ahead and throw our new FMF uh, gnarly pipe on. Went and got a new mount. You can see this one was starting to uh, talk to us a little bit. Got some nice fresh springs here. Check it out, no more dent. No more dent in the exhaust pipe. That thing's been dented since, shoot, I don't even know, maybe 92. All right, so that's the end of part one on the CR500 build. Uh, make sure you guys got your notifications on. Oh, bike down, baby.
anyway make sure you got your notifications on so we can see when i upload uh, part two i'll try to have it up quick here for you but check out what's behind me this just came in yesterday it's coming up for auction today we got a ktm check it out you know it's the big boy 500 uh, i believe this is an 89 like a trail version of Doro. Old Tasmanian devil here. But anyway, this is gonna come up for auction tonight. Maybe I'll try to get a video of that. That's how you guys can kind of see uh, what it's like uh, live at an auction experience for something like this. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this video. I wanna close out. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a little tour. This is uh, me and my father's uh, weekly auction we put on. So if anybody's local wanna come check us out here in South Jersey. This is a glimpse of what it's like every Thursday we do this. Once again, that's every week different turnaround items like this you'll see out here for auction public auction anybody can come get a number bid on any of these items take them home with you this is where I got my uh, sand blaster a lot of different items I got my wash tank I bought in here some real nice track bicycles we got up motorcycle parts we'll bring you on this side <laughs> all right guys that's the end of the auction tour let me know what you think in the comments you want to see a little uh auction episode every week maybe something like that i could put together maybe we'll try in the future but anyway uh i'll try to get it on video tonight we'll see what the ktm 500 sells for could be a future project i don't know what do you think i'll see you next time guys on part two